When you have these absolutes, you've put all of this label on your dog, which means there's nothing you can do about it. It's like you bought the model of car that didn't have the heating steer wheel and now it's winter and you wish you had that heated steering wheel, but guess what? Dogs aren't like cars that come with factory installed things. Dogs learn and there's a lot of things that influence that learning. And as you've heard me say many, many times that our dogs always do the best they can with the education they've given in the environment that we've put them in. But it isn't always as straightforward as you might think because dog training is never a linear path. As much as we would like it, it would kind of be boring if it was. Dog training, you have some really, really good days. Then you have some, oh my gosh, I'm going to quit this. I'm just going to let my dog sleep on the couch. I'm not going to attempt anything. And then you have, oh my gosh, this is the best day of my life. It's not a linear path. We all go through it. So take heart. But dog training is really relationship building. And with any relationship, it's really good to expect more of yourself and less of the other person. Now, I'm not saying lower your criteria with your dog. Remember, just talked about that in the last podcast. I'm talking about expect more of you to troubleshoot what it is that you are seeing from your dog because behavior doesn't define the dog. Behavior is information. It's potentially feedback. The behavior is the only nonverbal communication that our dogs can give us. That's their feedback. That's their communication. That's just information. So you need to take it on board objectively, not judgmentally. 